Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about Nernst equation. Now, Nernst equation deals with the relation of the effect of the electrolyte concentration and temperature on the electrode potential and the EMF of the cell. Now, when we talk about the Nernst equation for electrode potential, we have already learned that electrode potential of an electrode is said to be the standard electrode potential if it is measured under standard conditions. That is, when the electrolyte concentration is 1 molar and the temperature is 298 Kelvin. However, if the electrolyte concentration is different from 1 molar and the temperature is different from 298 Kelvin, then this electrode potential has a different value. This value is obtained using the Nernst equation and for this purpose the electrode reaction is written as the reduction reaction. Now in general for a general reduction reaction Mn plus plus N electrons gives us the metal. By applying Nernst equation we get E is equal to E0 minus RT by NF log the concentration of M divided by concentration of Mn plus ions. Here, E is equal to the electrode potential under the given concentration of the Mn plus ions and at a temperature T. And E0 is the standard electrode potential. Here, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin and F is equal to 1 Faraday. N is also equal to the number of electrons involved in the electrode reaction. Now for pure solids, liquids or gases at one atmospheric pressure, the molar concentration is taken as one or unity. Therefore, the concentration of the metal is one. So here the Nernst equation becomes E is equal to E0 minus RT divided by MF log 1 divided by the concentration of Mn plus ions. Now if we convert the natural log to log of the base 10, so we get E is equal to E0 minus 2.303 into RT divided by NF log 1 by the concentration of Mn plus ions. Now if we put the values of R which is equal to 8.314 joules per, per Kelvin per mole and F which is 96,500 coulombs and by taking T which is equal to 298 Kelvin the Nernst equation can be written as E is equal to E0 minus 0.0591 divided by N log 1 divided by the concentration of Mn plus ions. Now we can study the effect of electrolyte concentration and temperature on the EMF of a cell by applying Nernst equation. Now for this, let us consider the example of Daniel's cell in which a cell reaction can be written as zinc plus copper 2 plus gives you zinc 2 plus plus copper. Now let us apply Nernst equation to calculate the electrode potential of the two electrodes involved. Now we have to remember that while applying Nernst equation, the electrode potential is always taken as the reduction potential. Hence, for the zinc electrode, the electrode reaction can be written as zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons gives us zinc. So therefore, the electrode potential for zinc is equal to the standard electrode potential for zinc plus RT divided by 2F log of the concentration of zinc 2 plus ions. Now for the copper electrode, the electrode reaction can also be written as Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons gives you copper. So therefore, the electrode potential for copper is equal to the standard electrode potential for copper plus RT divided by 2F log of the concentration of the copper 2 plus ions. Now according to the given reaction, the oxidation takes place at the zinc electrode 
and reduction takes place at the copper electrode. Hence, zinc electrode is the anode and copper electrode is the cathode. So, the cell potential is equal to the electrode potential of the cathode minus the electrode potential of the anode, which in this case is equal to the electrode potential of copper minus the electrode potential of zinc. So when we substitute the values for the electrode potentials of copper and zinc, we get the relation cell potential is equal to the standard cell potential minus Rt divided by 2F log of the concentration of Zn2 plus ions divided by copper 2 plus ions. Now if you convert the natural logarithm to the base 10 and substituting the values of R and F and taking temperature T to be 298 Kelvin, we can write the cell potential as standard cell potential minus 0 0.0591 divided by 2 log of the concentration of Zn2 plus ions divided by the concentration of copper 2 plus ions. Now in general, if the cell reaction can be written like this, then if we apply this Nernst equation, we get this relation. Now at 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius, the Nernst equation for any reaction can be written as here N is the number of electrons involved in the cell reaction. Now in the study of Nernst equation, we will come across problems like these. Let us have a look at this problem. Calculate the electric potential of copper wire dipped in 0.1 molar copper sulfate solution at 25 degrees Celsius. The standard electric potential of copper is 0.34 volts. Now for this problem, we can write the electrode reaction as Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons gives you Cu. So which means that here N is equal to 2. Now, if we apply Nernst equation, we can write it like this. The electrode potential of copper electrode is equal to the standard electrode potential for copper minus 0.0591 divided by 2 log of 1 divided by the concentration of copper 2 plus. So we, we can get the value of the electrode potential for copper to be equal to 0.31045 volts. Let us have a look at this other problem. In this problem, we have to represent the cell in which this reaction takes place. And as we can see in this reaction, the concentration of the silver plus ions is already given as well as the magnesium plus ions. And we have to calculate the cell potential at these concentrations. Now, we are given the reduction potentials of magnesium as well as silver. Now from these reduction potentials we can also write down the electrode reactions. Now as the EMF of the cell must be positive so this means that oxidation has to take place at the magnesium electrode. So the cell reactions or the electrode reactions can be written like this and the cell can be represented like this. Now, the standard EMF of the cell can also be calculated and it is calculated to uh, and it is found to be 3.17 volts. Now, if we apply Nernst equation, we get that the we can see that the cell potential is equal to the cell standard cell potential minus 0.0591 divided by n log of the concentration of magnesium 2 plus ions divided by the concentration of a uh, silver, uh, silver plus ions to the power 2. Now when we calculate these, when we uh, simplify these, we see that the value of the cell potential is 2.96 volts.